our menstrual health, our gynecologic health is what has now been called a sixth vital sign. So we have our temperature, our blood pressure, our heart rate, our respiratory rate. Pain is considered the fifth vital sign and women's cycles are considered the sixth. So we know that these conditions and symptoms and imbalances that show up can impact us later on in life because those same things like inflammation or microbiome disruption or insulin resistance can then show up later in other ways. Some of the predictability that we see with how our cycles work, and it's not just our menstrual cycles, it's like through our life cycles, whether it's entering puberty or entering pregnancy or going into menopause. But within that, there is also a predictability that we can look at when imbalances show up. So for example, if a woman is have really, you know, really achy boobs right before her period and gets menstrual migraines, um, has really heavy periods, we can then say, oh, check, check, check. Those are signs of excess estrogen. Or someone is checking their basal body temperature and they're checking their cervical mucus and they're checking in with how they feel. And they're like, yeah, I'm not getting that peak in temperature that you're supposed to get when you're ovulating and my cycles are irregular. And that tells us very specifically without any lab tests, oh, there's something going on with progesterone or by definition, if you're not ovulating, your progesterone is low. So there's so much we can do just again with that, like peeking under the hood, having a little bit of body literacy and paying attention, like just actually paying attention to the wisdom that our body offers. On average in the United States, it takes a woman 9.3 years of going to doctors saying, I've got period pain, I've got constipation, I've got gas and bloating, I've got painful sex, I've got this, I'm, to get a diagnosis of endometriosis. 9.3 years, let's just take that in for a minute. So 9.3 years, five, six, eight doctors, and nobody gives you a diagnosis, or you get a book and you do a self-check, and then you kind of are self-diagnosing because no one else is doing it for you. Ditto with yeah. polycystic ovary syndrome, ditto with this, that, and the other that women are saying, hey, listen to me, believe me, something is going on, I need answers. And they're just getting, oh, that's normal. Or no, you're fine, or oh, take the pill. So it really does provide that um, ability to really identify where you are in the sort of scheme of these things, which may lead to a pretty good understanding that huh, this actually does walk and talk like fibroids. And so I really do need to go and get an actual diagnosis.